the University Council, Dr. Amalfi Tabin, Dr. Virginia Bergano, Dr. Estela Diaz, Dr. Maria Victoria Crisostomo, Professor Nenita Santos, Dr. Jose De Leon, Dr. Leticia Marquez, Prof. Janeline Huertas, Prof. Luz Banes, The Council of Deans, Dr. Laila R. Gano, Dean of the Institute of Graduate and Professional Studies, Dean Noami Solano, Dean of the College of Arts and Science, Dr. Angel Espiritu III, Dean of the College of Business Administration, Dr. Yolanda Sebastian Lira, Dean of the College of Criminal Justice, Professor Alistair Salorio, Dean of the College of Education, Professor Auricita de los Reyes, Dean of the College of Health Sciences, Professor Ronald Fernandez, Dean of the College of Engineering and Technology. Engineer Picasso de la Cruz, Director of the UDM Center for Microcredentialing and Industry Training. Dr. Cheryl Ramirez, Director of the University Research, Innovation and Social Engagement. Professor Walter Perales, Dean for Student Affairs. The Universidad de Manila Administrative Council, Director for Information and Communications, Technology Office, Engineer Francis Atienza, University Registrar Loida Primavera, Director for Quality Assurance and Accreditation, Professor Rejan Tadeo. OIC for the Office of the Vice President for Comptrollership, Generosa Moreno. Vice President for Administration, Professor Manfredo Marceliano. Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Ronald Herrera. Executive Vice President, Attorney Tacido Garcia III. Let us now welcome the special guest from the academic community, Dr. Victor Castello, Education Supervisor for the Commission on Higher Education, NCR. Dr. Raimundo Arcega. Chancellor of the Lyceum of the Philippines University, Chairman of the National Network of Quality Assurance Agencies, and President and Executive Director of the Association of Local Colleges and Universities Commission on Accreditation. The Chairman of the Board of Regents and former President of the City of Malabon University, the Honorable Mayor Antolin Lenlen Aquino Oreta III, President Melissa Grace Season Oreta of the City of Malabon University. Dr. Melva Diamante, President of Southville International School, affiliated with foreign universities. Dr. Teresita Atienza, President of Quezon City University. Dr. Nedeña Toralba, President of the Pamantasa ng Unsod ng Valenzuela. 
Dr. Elena Presneri, President of the Bamantasan ng Sod ng Muntinlupa. Dr. Rosani Estuche, President of the City University of Pasay. Dr. Eriko Habijan, President of the Pamantasan ng Lungsod ng Marikina. Dr. Albert Madrigal, President of the Pamantasan ng Lungsod ng Kabuyaw. President Michael Lirio of Tanawan City College. Dr. Enrico Inigo Xavier Quadala, President of Colegio de Montalban. Dr. Lorna Gabi, President of Colegio ng Lungsod ng Batangas. Professor Mario Carmelo Pesa, College Administrator of Colegio ng Lungsod ng Lipa. Dr. Bradford Antonio Martinez, Vice President for Academic Affairs of Quezon City University. Dr. Doringer Cabrera, Vice President for Academic Affairs for Colegio ng Lungsod ng Batangas. Dr. Jennifer Domingo Valdez, Vice President for Academic Affairs of Diliman College. Dr. Monette Bato, Vice President for Planning and Finance of the Laguna University. Engineer Sheila Villanueva, Vice President for Institutional Development of the City of Malabon University. Engineer Kim Carlo Lat, Director of Engineering and Physical Plant of the Lyceum of the Philippines University. Now, let us welcome the Universidad de Manila Board of Regents. Regent Maria Magdalena Lim. Regent Priscilla Maria Abante Barquilla. Regent Jesus B. Varela. Regent Brian Guerrero. Regent Solomon Flores. Regent Red Briar Joaquin. Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome Dr. Maria Felma Carlos Tria, University President and Chief Academic and Executive Officer. Now, let us welcome our guests from the city government of Manila. One of the champions of implementing UDM's fiscal autonomy, Assistant Secretary to the Mayor, the Honorable Manuel Letlet Zarcal. Secretary to the Mayor and one of the principal sponsors of the ordinance creating UDM, the Honorable Bernardito C. Ang. Congressman of Manila's 3rd District, the Honorable John Marvin Yul Servo Nieto.
Let us welcome the Vice Mayor of Manila, the Honorable Maria Sheila Hani Lacuna Pangan. Oh, my God. 
be seated. The members of the Council of Deans, the members of the University Council, and the members of the Administrative Council included in this assembly are the members of the University Board of Regents, representative from other universities and academic communities, and members of the City of Manila Platform Party, headed by our Vice Mayor, Hani Lacuna Pan, the Congressman of the Third District of Manila, Congressman Marvin Yul Servo Nieto. Investiture is a time honored tradition in every academic institution where honors or rank are formally conferred. In the history of Universidad de Manila, this will be the second investiture ceremonies to be conducted. The last was in 1999 for the seventh president of the university. Universidad de Manila was formerly known as a city college of Manila. The word city college is used to be a separate college in Pamantasan ng Lunsod ng Maynila. As the need to provide education for the poor but deserving youths of Manila is growing, the city college in PLM was abolished and the City College of Manila or CCM was established in 1995. During the incumbency of the late Honorable Mayor Alfredo S. Lim. We are fortunate that one of the authors of the City Ordinance 7885, establishing the Dalabhasaan ng Lunsod ng Maynila, known as the City College of Manila in 1995, is no other than the Honorable Secretary to the Mayor. Honorable Bernardito Ang. Its first campus was located in the old PNB building in Escolta. Then, on June 2006, City Ordinance Number 8120 was enacted, elevating the City College of Manila into a university and renaming it Universidad. De Manila, now located in a 24,000 square meter Mehan Gardens at Aroceros, now Cecilia Munoz Palma, part of the district of Ernita. UDM is guided by the vision as a paragon of learning, research, excellence, and empowerment for the underprivileged youth of Manila. Its mission to provide free and quality tertiary education for the poor but deserving youth of Manila by providing relevant research programs and create responsive extension services benefiting the city of Manila and the country as well. Presently, the university has 32 courses, eight board and 24 non-board courses. In addition, UDM has newly rebranded courses, about 12 short courses that fall under the Center for Micro-Credentialing and Industry Training, duly recognized by TESDA. This pandemic has tested the resiliency and dynamism of UDM. And I am proud to say that we managed to emerge victorious. 
as we officially welcome our new president, hopes are high that UDM will achieve its long-cherished desire to be recognized as full-fledged higher education institution by the Commission on Higher Education under the leadership of President Dr. Maria Felma Carlos Tria. Thank you very much for listening. that third one. The position of university presidents is laborious. Far from the prestige of the office are the tremendous responsibilities as chief academician and the duties of chief executive officer of our institution. As per the great Chinese general, military strategist and philosopher, Sun Chu. Victorious warriors win first and then go to war. While defeated warriors go to war first and then seek to win. President Maria Pelma Carlos Trias' academic and administrative background can attest that she is already victorious warrior who is now ready to take the challenge to lead Universidad de Manila to surpass its achievements and successes. In behalf of the UDM professors, instructors, and teachers, we welcome President Maria Pelma Carlos Tria as the 16th University President of UDM with a pledge that we will give our all out support to her administration. Good luck, best wishes, and mabuhay ka, President Maria Pelma Carlos Tria. Thank you. Good evening to every one of you present here today. I had the honor and privilege to be the first member of the university's management team to officially welcome the 16th University President of UDM during the regular meeting of the Board of Regents last August 27. It was a Friday back then. Right from the start, she exuded enthusiasm and goodwill. At the end of the board meeting, we gave her our numbers as we were eager to be of service by introducing UDM, its organizational structure, its personnel, ongoing projects and activities, as well as some urgent matters that need to be addressed. The very next day, she already called and even offered that we meet in person and have coffee. Unfortunately, the pandemic got in the way. Instead, we had a virtual meeting via Zoom. Our virtual meeting lasted for more than two hours. It was after that Zoom session that I discovered and truly believe that Universidad de Manila is on its way to institutional reform and greatness as an educational institution. I was both impressed and relieved. She really is an educator. 
she will steer the university towards the right direction. That is what I said to anyone who asked me about her back then. She is a perfect fit for UDM, the right person at the right time. The 16th University President and Chief Academic and Executive Officer of the Universidad de Manila has a vision, a dream for the university. That is to put UDM on the map by ensuring that students get the best education in preparation for their entry, not just in the cities and the country's workforce, but even in the international stage. Slowly, the UDM community discovered that her enthusiasm and goodwill are accompanied by competence, integrity, concrete vision, plans, and direction for the university. I am sure that everyone in UDM is already aware about what I am saying, as our new president spent more than a month to have meaningful discussions with each and every division head and dean in the university. She even immediately went around university premises on her very first day in campus. It would take me more than, hour, more than an hour to quickly discuss or enumerate what the university has accomplished thus far under the new president in just a little over a month. But just allow me to say, her focus is really on the students and the university's leadership, strategy, measurement, analysis, and knowledge management, as well as its workforce and operations. All this shall be measured and recalibrated to produce desired results, all for the best education that the youth of Manila deserves. On behalf of the UDM community, we welcome the university's 16th president. We welcome Dr. Maria Felma Carlos Tria. Madam President, we are all excited as to what the university will be achieving in the days to come under your leadership. And of course, I would like to take this opportunity to extend the UDM community's gratitude to the Chairman of the Board of Regents, our City Mayor, Mayor Isco Moreno, for always supporting and looking after Universidad de Manila. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pamahalaan ng lungsod ng Maynila. Malaking bagay po ang ayuda para sa ating mga estudyante, pati na rin po ang enhancement programs po ninyo para sa mga board takers. We also thank the City Council of Manila, headed by Vice Mayor Hani Lacuna, lahat po ng kailangang ordinansa ng UDM ay inyo pong agad-agad na ipapasa. We also thank Congressman Yul Servo. Sir, alam ko pong isang tawag lang po sa inyo, agad-agad po kayong nagpapadala ng tulong sa UDM. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Rest assured that the best is yet to come for UDM and the youth of Manila. Under the leadership and guidance of our 16th University President, Dr. Maria Felma Carlos Tria. Thank you, and let's all enjoy this delightful evening. To our distinguished guests, to our Honorable Vice Mayor Maria Sheila Hani Lacuna Pangan, Congressman John Marvin Yul Servo Nieto, University President, Chief Academic and Executive Officer Dr. Maria Felma Carlos Tria, to the Board of Regents, Executive Vice President Attorney Placido O. Garcia III, Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Ronald A. Herrera. Vice President for Administration,
Mr. Manfredo A. Marcelliano, Vice President for Comptrollership, Ms. Herosa Moreno, City of Manila Government officials, administrative staff, academic deans and professors, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. On behalf of the UDM students, we would like to express our gratitude and warm welcome to our new university president, Dr. Maria Felma Carlos Trea. Let us give her a big round of applause. <laughs> Accepting the challenge to be the president of the UDM is both an honor and responsibility. Taking over is an exciting and also a nerve-wracking situation, especially in these times of pandemic. But a game changer is a strong leader with a solid vision. The rising COVID-19 positive cases has not deterred us from moving forward, but instead strengthened the partnership that we have in times of normalcy. It has moved us from our comfort zones to learn more skills and looking for creative ways to provide the best education that we could possibly give to our Merlions. Adapting the new normal and continue to make a difference despite the challenges of this global crisis, we, together with more than 11,000 UDM students, believes in you and we stand behind you, Dr. Tria. We may not always understand the path ahead, but we support you along the way and your decisions to get us there safely. Your visions to you for UDM will surely for the benefits of all the Merlions. Being advocate of high quality and world-class education, your dedication and your wealth of experience with will be tremendously beneficial to the university, faculty and staff, and most of all, to the underprivileged but deserving youth of city of Manila. You will shape us morally and intellectually and pass on knowledge and expertise to meet the international standards when it comes to academe. I want you to know that our university is full of incredible people who are proud of their work, and we, the students, will do our best to make sure that your vision will transform into reality. We know that you will lead us in the right direction as we work together towards success and overcome challenges along the way. I am confident that you are going to be a great role model for the rest of us to follow. It is a privilege to have the opportunity to work under someone who is as respected and intelligent as you are. We are happy to, we are happy to have you in control. Our faith is with you, and UDM students are proud to have you as our university president. Again, congratulations, Dr. Felmo Carlos Tria, and welcome to the Universidad de Manila family. Good day, everyone. It is a pleasure to be a part of this event as the alumni representative. Our dear president, Dr. Maria Felma Carlos Tria. <clears throat> In behalf of the Alumni Association, please accept our warm congratulations and best wishes as you prepare to take on the responsibilities and challenges of this high office. As you take upon your new responsibilities, the Alumni Association would like to assure you our full support. As the new pillar of this university, we endeavor to provide you our assistance whenever necessary and to the fulfillment of our goals towards success. We look forward to working with you. Mabuhay po tayong lahat.
At this point, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to call someone who is close to the university, who will give the greetings on behalf of the academic community. The Chancellor of the Lyceum of the Philippine University, Chairman of the National Network of Quality Assurance Agency, and President and Executive Director of the Association of Local Colleges and Universities Commission on Accreditation, Dr. Raimundo Arcega. Pleasant evening to everyone. UDM is a vision to liberate the young from poverty and to liberate the young from ignorance. UDM has been established in 1995, believing that education can be a social equalizer among the people of Manila. My dear members of the UDM community, tonight, it's not just about the investiture of Dr. Tria. It is about reminding everyone that the vision of the president should be the vision of everyone. Vision is the end, and the end is the beginning. Mahirap gumising tuwing umaga nang hindi natin alam kung para kanino tayo bumabangon sa umaga. Vision will tell us who we are for whom we are, and what we have to do for those for whom we are. God brought us tonight and in the days to come to realize his vision for people and humanity. UDM was primarily established by the city government of Manila as an instrument to improve the lives of the people in Manila. It was just a simple meeting Thank you, Dr. Tria, in Alabang. When I got to know that you are the daughter of my beloved professor from FEU, I have no doubt that you are the right guy to become the president of Universidad de Manila. You are the 16th president, dear UDM, but there'll be more presidents after Dr. Tria. Let us not forget that UDM is not just about leadership. Leadership will come and go. We have our own sunrise and sunset. But Dr. Tria, I guess, has promised everyone that beyond her leadership, she will establish systems and institutions for us to continuously enjoy academic excellence and to continuously sustain transformation. We all agree in local colleges and universities that our leadership is not permanent, will come and go. But we want to be sure that our leadership will create impact to the lives of people. Again, I would like to reiterate, this is not all about Dr. Tria. This is not all about us. We were just made an instrument to realize the vision of UDM. Let us not forget that UDM is about the students. We have to make the students the center of what we do. Whether or not Dr. Tri and the UDM community will attain it, it all depends on us. But if we will not give up, we will not fail. Government is not an accident. Serving the government is a vision. It's a call. It's a commitment. And I call upon the members of the UDM community to support the leadership of Dr. Tia in the next four years and in the next eight years when granted by the board. At this point, I would like to thank the chairman of the board, Mayor Moreno, and of course, Vice Mayor Lacuna. Thank you so much for giving education your priority. We're not building buildings. We're building lives for one generation to the other. 
the budget that you have invested to UDM definitely has infected the lives of many people in Manila. And the leadership of Manila will continuously inspire all local governments in the country. Thank you so much. Can we give a big hand to the Vice Mayor and to the City Council? <laughs> Dr. Herrera, DP Marceliano, DP Moreno, EVP Garcia, thank you for welcoming the new president. I can sense and I can feel that you've been waiting for someone to really be the center of implementing the vision. Thank you, and I assure you, Dr. Fria, with Dr. Herrera and group, you'll be in good hands. I worked with them for many years, and finally, I'm happy to accept your application for accreditation. Good luck in November 2021. <laughs> to the family of Dr. Fria, for a while, she'll take a pause. The time she used to spend with you may not be the same anymore. At times she need her, she might still be in her office. But don't be sad. She's doing something greater and more than the family that she promised to take care. I know that at some point she will be deprived of her time. But she's doing something for God and people. Thank you so much for the care you extended to Dr. Fia. And thank you for the gift of her leadership. Dr. Tia, thank you. Thank you so much for seeing your personal vision aligned to the vision of the city of Manila. I knew it's difficult to shift from a private institution to public. And I thank God that he gave you that discernment to accept the leadership of UDM. The entire local colleges and universities of the Philippines will be at your back. They were just notified yesterday and we're all here. And I would like you to meet them once again. Please rise when I call the President of the Pamantasan and Lunsod ng, ng Muntinlupa and the President, the Vice President of ALCU, Dr. Elena Presnedi. Please remain standing when called. Let's give our support to Dr. Tria, the longest serving president of a local college in the Philippines, the President of the Pamantasan and Lunsod ng Valenzuela, and the National Treasurer of ALCU, Dr. Nidenia Toralba. The newly appointed president of the City of Malabon University, Chef Melissa Season Oreta. The past president of the City of Malabon University, now the chairman of the Board of CMU, and the Honorable Mayor of Malabon, Mayor Lenlen Aquino Oreta. The Vice President for Academic Affairs, representing Dr. Teresita Achenza of the Quezon City University, Dr. Bradford Martinez. The youngest president so far in the local college, all the way from Calabar Zone, who received my invitation three o'clock this afternoon. Professor Mario Carmelo Pesa. The president of the City University of Pasay, the former board of ALCU, Dr. Rosani Estuche. The vice president for academic affairs of Diliman College in Commonwealth, Dr. Jen Domingo Valdez. All the way from Laguna University, Santa Cruz, just the same with the rest, 2 o'clock this afternoon, the Vice President, Professor Dr. Monet Bato. The President, just this morning, of Pamantasa ng Kabuyao, all the way from the University of the Philippines, Dr. Albert Dilao Madrigal. Also joining us today is the President of the Nawan City College, Professor Mike Lierio. the Director for Engineering and the Department Chair of the Civil Engineering Course from Lyceum of the Philippines University, Engineer Kim Carlo Lat. We're standing today, Dr. Tria, giving you all our support. We will never leave you in this journey to prove that UDM 
can be one of the best local college in the Philippines. As one said from all of us by the PLM president, Dr. Benjamin Tayabas, our intention as a local college is to provide common education for common people. Even if they're not paying that much, they should get the brand of education similar from private higher education institution. Our students may be poor, but they're not meant to be poor for life. Mahirap maging mahirap, pero mahirap maging mahirap ngayon at magpakailan pa man. Dr. Tria, don't ever give up your leadership because it's a call from God, a commitment, and not an accident. As once said by the president of Lyceum of the Philippines University, a godless education is an end without a beginning. Just put God at the center of what you do and so with the people. As once said by the father of local government, Senator Aquilino Pimentel, who is celebrating his death anniversary on October 19. Education is the key social equalizer for upward mobility. And the late president of UMAC, the former president of ALPU, let us not forget who we are, for whom we are, and what we have to do for those for whom we are. UDM and Dr. Tria, wag nating kakalimutan kung sino tayo, para kanino tayo, at anong dapat nating gawin para ke kanino tayo. Our life is a gift from God, and whatever we do to our lives will be our gift to God. A pleasant evening to everyone, and congratulations, Dr. Tria. Congratulations, UDM. Thank you. Another important person who will deliver or the greetings from the academic community, the representative from the Commission on Higher Education National Capital Region, the Education Supervisor, Dr. Victor Castell. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Ako po sa aking pag-upo kanina at pagtanaw sa inyong lahat, nakita ko po yung kaisahan na kailangan talaga natin para yung ating goal. Sabi nga po kanina, kailangan at magtulungan upang ma, ano po natin, ma-hit natin yung ating target, yung excellence po talaga. Kaya po ako naman ay sa akin po na pagmamasid kanina. Yan po ay aking masasabi mamaya sa aming uh, direktor na si Dr. Virginia Akyate At sa akin, ikaw-convey ko sa kanya na, Ma'am, nakita ko po ang kahihinatnan ng UDM sa ngayon. Dahil nakita ko po, naroon po ang lahat ng mga representante ng ibang mga pamantasan at kolehiyo na handang tumulong sa UDM upang makamit ang kanyang hangad na excellence sa ating ano po sa academy na in particular. Pero po, ma'am, magpapasintabi na po ako. Kasi po bila, uh, sa atin pong limited face to face sa Tuesday po bibisitahin na po namin kayo. Natatawa ko lang din po kayo ano. Pero I believe po, sabi nga po ng isang uh, university president na, na dito sa NCR, sabi po ng isang university president, Victor, I will not apply if I am not ready. Sabi ko po sa kanya, tama po kayo ma'am. Kaya whenever I visit ano po, a certain institution, higher education institution, and inspect together, on-site inspection po ma'am, and inspect the facilities, and the, co the compliance of this particular institution for limited face-to-face -face classes, internship, and clerkship. Kasi unahin po muna natin, ma'am, yung mga allied health. Hindi po ba? Sabi nga po, nung magkasama kami ni Mayor at ni Vice Mayor sa UST. 
Ipo ba ma'am, tayo po ang magkakasama noon. So, I believe. I believe with you at the helm, makukum- makakamit na po natin yung ating hinahangad po para po sa ating mga estudyante ng UDM. Now, babasahin ko po sa inyo ang mensahe naman po ng amin pong direktor, ang atin pong direktor ng, na, ng CED NCR. On behalf of CED NCR family, we extend our heartfelt congratulations on your appointment as the new president of Universidad de Manila. Certainly, your constant, your commitment and dedication to willingly volunteer your time, talent, and efforts has contributed to your being chosen for the post. We are very much delighted upon knowing that you are the new president. We are sure that under you, great leader, your great leadership, wisdom, and guidance, this institution will strive to higher and greater heights and achievement. Once again, let me reiterate our warmest congratulations. God bless. Signed, Virginia Diakyate, the CHED NCR Director. Magandang gabi po sa inyo. And to give the greetings from the elected Officials, may I call the debonair <laughs> Congressman Marvin Yul Servo, 3rd District of Manila. Magandang magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Alam niyo po, ang inyong pong lingkod, dati gusto ko pong mag- maging polis. Eh, hindi ko naman po akalain na ang, artist, ang mukhang to ay artist time pala. Nag-enroll po ako sa Metro, uh, Metropolitan Theater. After nun, nag-aral po ako sa noong 1998 sa City College of Manila, sa Escolta, sa 13th floor. Doon po ako unang nag-aral ng pag-arte po. Doon po ako natutong umiyak. At the rest po, nanalo na po ako ng, ano, ng uh, pitong best actor, dalawang best supporting actor. Kaya, salamat sa UDM. Pag, uh, Ate Anin, Madam uh, President, magandang gabi po. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pag niyo po sa akin sa napakagandang gabi na ito para sa Universidad de Manila kung saan ating i-welcome ang ikalabing anim na pangulo ng Universidad de Manila, Madam President, ang buong pamahalaan po ng siyudad ng Maynila sa pangunguna ni Yorme Isko Moreno Dumagoso, Vice Mayor Hani Lacuna, at ang ating pong mga konsyal, ay narito lamang po upang umayuda sa UDM. Ako po mismo, isang tawag niyo lang po, ora mismo, ako po ay darating at tutulong. Narito lang po ako para sa edukasyon, ng kabataan ng siyudad ng Maynila ang magpapatingkad sa kinabukasan ng Maynila Congratulations po Magandang magandang gabi po Ladies and gentlemen the Honorable Vice Mayor of the City of Manila will deliver the message on behalf of the city government of Manila, Vice Mayor Maria Shilahani Lacuna Pangan.
Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. This is one of the famous quotes of Nelson Mandela. The Board of Regents, to my uh, fellow uh, member of the City Council, Honorable Priscilla Bante Barquia, to Congressman Yul Servonieto, the administration officials, faculty members, other distinguished guests, friends, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant evening to everyone. In behalf of our Honorable Mayor Francisco Isco Moreno de Magoso and of almost 10,000 workforce of the city government of Manila, I extend our warmest greetings of congratulations to Dr. Maria Felma Carlos Tria and welcome to the roster of Manila civil servants. Today, you will be formally installed as the 16th president of the 26-year-old Universidad de Manila, formerly known as the City College of Manila. You will be serving an institution envisioned to provide totally free college education to our Batang Manila, who are desirous to pursue higher education and earn a degree despite of their challenging economic status. Gaya po nang nabanggit ng atin po mga nagsalita bago po sa akin, ang Universidad de Manila po ay naitatag sa pamagitan ng isang ordinansa, ang Manila City Ordinance 7885, an ordinance authorizing the city of Manila to establish and operate the Dalubhasaang ng Maynila, the City Colleges of Manila, and for such other purposes, who was, which was approved by the late Mayor Alfredo S. Lim. Kaya po, sa kabila ng pagkakaroon na tayo ng pamantasan ng lungsod ng Maynila bilang kauna-unahang universidad na itinatag para sa isang lokal na pamalaan, ay sinikap pa rin ng ating pamalan lungsod na magkaroon ng isa pang paaralan upang lalo pang dumami ang mga kabataang magtutulungan at mabibigyan ng pag-asang makapagpatuloy ng pag-aaral sa kabila ng kakapusan nila sa buhay. Naging katuwang ng alkalde ang sangguniang panlunsod upang maisabatas sa pamamagitan ng isang ordinansa ang pagbubuo ng Universidad de Manila. In fact, ang pondo ng Universidad de Manila ay kasama rin sa taong-taong binabalangkas ng atin pong konseho. Isa sa napakahalagang ordinansa na naisabatas namin, kamakailan lang, ay yung pagbibigay ng isang libong ayuda sa lahat ng mga mag-aaral ng Universidad de Manila. Alam po namin na napakalaki ng maibigay nitong tulong hindi lamang para sa ating mga estudyante kundi pati na rin po sa kanilang mga magulang. Isa rin po na napakagandang ordinansa, napakahalaga po na nagawa po ng Konseho ng Maynila nitong 25th founding anniversary ng Universidad de Maynila ay ang pagbibigay ng fiscal autonomy sa pamagitan ng Manila City Ordinance 8635. Ang ordinansa pong ito ay napugbahan ng ating pong minamahal na alkalde, Isko Moreno Dumagoso, noong ika-27 ng Abril 2020. At ang sinasabi dito ay the university shall be treated as an independent management of fiscal, human resources, and all other assets shall be within its control. Sa tingin ko po, si Dr. Rafael Mapo ay maging malaking instrumento para lalo pong mapabuti ang pagpapalakad ng Universidad de Manila. Alam niyo po, Doktora Ria, taon-taon na lamang po, napakaraming lumalapit sa aming mga lingkod bayan ng pamalalunsod ng Maynila na nagnanais pong makapag-aral sa Universidad de Manila. Napakarami na po naming nagawang mga reconsideration letter pagpaumanhin niyo po. 
dahil sa tingin po namin, marahil ito na rin po ang malaking maitutulong namin sa kanila pagkos sila po ay hindi pinalad na totoong makapasa sa inyo pong binibigay na mga pagsusuri, pinilit pa rin po nilang makapag-aral at makapasok sa inyo pong universidad. Alam nyo po, meron na po siguro kung mga dalawa, tatlo na talagang hindi nakakuha ng exam. Pero, nung napagbigyan po ng uh, pagkakataon, kahit na po tapos na ang enrollment, ganyan po ka-accommodating ang Universidad de Manila. Alam nyo po, nasa Dean's Lister po sila ngayon. Kaya po, natutuwa ako sa pagkakataon na binibigay nyo sa mga batang Maynila na katulad po nila na bagkus po sa kanilang uh, estado, sa kanila pong uh, pamumuhay, ay nabigyan pa rin po sila ng dekalidad na edukasyon. Sa paglipas po ng mga taon ay marami na rin karangalan ang naibigay na rin ng Universidad de Manila sa lungsod. Dahil sa mga pagpupunyagi nito sa iba't ibang mga pagsusulit for licensure examination, gaya ng ating pagiging rank 1 sa NCR para sa criminology. Mataas din po ang ating passing rate sa social work, physical therapy, nursing, associate in electronics communication, engineering at sa edukasyon. Marami na rin po sa mga batang Maynila na nagsitapos at gamit ang kanilang mga nakuhang karunungan at kasanayan ay mayroon ng kanya-kanyang hanap buhay at nakakatulong na sa kanilang mga pamilya. Para po sa hindi mga nakakaalam, nung ako po ay isang konsihal pa lamang, ako po ay tumayong uh, chairman ng Committee on Education at isang karangalan po na ako po ay mapabilang sa Board of Regents ng Universidad de Manila. Kaya masasabi ko po, naging kapamilya rin po ako ng atin pong minamahal na universidad. There are still rooms for improvement and we are hoping that you will be able to offer your prowess as the torchbearer and as UDM's Chief Executive Officer to empower your colleagues in the academe to find ways in ensuring that the curriculum is fine-tuned to the needs of the present times. Rest assured that we, in the city government of Manila, will support you in all your undertakings in making a difference in the lives of our young Manilenios through our free and quality higher education. Again, our congratulations to you, Doctora Carlos Tria. May God bless and guide you and the entire UDM community. Thank you and good evening. We come now to the most awaited part of the celebration, which is the imposition of the UDM medallion and the wearing of the presidential regalia. But before that, allow me to introduce to you or meet the new president of Universidad de Manila. She is none other than Maria Felma Carlos Tria, Doctor of Education, Master of Arts in Communication Management. Dr. Tria is the 16th president of Universidad de Manila upon unanimous appointment of the UDM Board of Regents. She finished her primary and secondary education in St. Scholastica's College. She obtained her Bachelor of Arts in Journalism as a college scholar and member Management at the Pamantasa na Lunsod ng Maynila, as well as her Doctor of Education in Educational Administration from the same university. 
She has earned units in Doctor of Philosophy in Media Studies from the University of the Philippines under the Presidential Scholarship Program. As an academician and professional lecturer in Saltville International School and Colleges affiliated with foreign universities offering programs from United Kingdom and Australia and Pamantasa and Lusod ng Manila Graduate School. She made significant contributions in the field of communication, public relations and leadership and administration. She once worked as a supervisor at Mandarin Oriental Hotel Manila, reporter and segment producer for both GME 7 News and Current Affairs and RPN 9 News and Public Affairs. Her expertise in educational leadership management, administration, operations, instruction, mentoring, research, and quality assurance, among others, is unparalleled. These undertakings led her to receive numerous awards from different local and foreign institutions, one of which is the outstanding educator in the category faculty with administrative function Star Excellence in Teaching Award, awarded by the Consortium of the South from Southville International School and Colleges. She received service award 15 years, ISO Internal Quality Audit Awards as Best Auditor and Best Research Award, among others. UDN's new president is determined to give her best in elevating the status of the university. As a CHED recognized higher education institution, further upgrade its physical and digital infrastructure, improve the welfare of faculty and staff, and most of all, transform the lives of the poor but deserving youth of the city of Manila. At this point, I would like also to acknowledge that as a mother, Dr. Tria is blessed with two children, Philip and Margot. So may I request Philip and Margot to stand. Of course, the loving husband, Dominic Tria. <laughs> Sir, can you stand? <laughs> The caring mother, Vilma, Carlos. Of course, the loving mother-in-law, and my co-dean at Pamantasan Unisod ng Maynila, Dr. Geraldine Tria. Of course, the father-in-law, Mr. Nick Tria. UDM welcomes Dr. Tria with a warm and cultural heart. So meet our president. May I request the members of the Board of Regents to lead the investiture rights May I request our president to come up on stage? The wearing of the university regalia. The academic gown of the president has four bars of velvet on a full sleeve that distinguishes the position to other members of the Board of Regents, which has three. The cap and gown represents their respective recognition and achievement while the hood symbolizes one's field of study. The tassel of the cap 
represents the color of the school and belongingness to a particular class. The blue color of the hood stands for philosophy or education, while the maroon as a shade of red color symbolizes heat and fire. It also designates the degree or discipline of canon law. Communications, conservation, divinity, forestry, journalism, music, public health, sacred theology, and theology. The Presidential Medallion. The medallion set in color gold stands for wealth and luxury, and such color means with ideas of love, wisdom, and magic. The medallion has the inscription of Nilad, a mangrove species where Manila gave its name or got its name. A book that symbolizes knowledge and wisdom, while the torch stands for illumination, providing enlightenment and a beacon guiding the future of the youth of Manila. The intertwining two laurel leaves and branches are wreath is a symbol of victory. The small metal beads forming a chain around the medallion represents the different programs being offered by Universidad in Manila. Congratulations to our new president. Thank you.
This is the moment. This is the time when I send all my doubts and demons on their way. Every endeavor I have made ever is coming into play, and he. I am today. This is the moment. This is the time when the momentum and the moment are in rhyme. Give me this moment, this precious chance. I'll gather up my past and make some sense at last. This is the moment when all I've done, when all the dreaming, scheming and screaming become one. This is the day. See it sparkle and shine when all I've lived for To prove to them I made it on my own. This is the moment, my final test. Destiny beckon, I never reckon second best. I won't look back, I must not fall. This is the moment. The sweetest moment of them all. This is the moment, damn all the odds. This day or never, I'll see forever with the gods. When I look back, I will always recall. This is the moment. Oh.
Manila Vice Mayor, Honorable Maria Sheila Honey Lacuna Pangan, Congressman of Manila's 3rd District, Honorable John Marvin Yul Servo Nieto, Universidad de Manila Board of Regents, Ched NCR Education Supervisor Dr. Victor Castello, Tesda Manila District Director Ms. Nina Connie Dodd, Representative from the Honorary Consulate of the Republic of Peru, Ms. Nadine Escano. Our friends from the academic community, presidents and officials of public and private higher education institutions led by Dr. Raymond Arcega, President and Executive Director of Alcocoa, Special mention to the Chairman of the Board of Regents of Malabon University, Honorable Mayor Antonio Lenlen Aquino Oreta III, Southville Global Education Network representatives from Southville International School and Colleges, Southville International School affiliated with foreign universities, and South Seed LPDH, Officers of Universidad de Manila Council of Deans, the University Council, faculty, students, and alumni, and our special guests. Good evening. As people who are close to me know, I accepted the invitation to be part of the Board of Regents of Universidad de Manila without ever having visited the campus. Even at the time that the board unanimously elected me to be the university president, I actually had not set foot in the premises. But you see, I knew I had to join the bus, or in this case, the boat. Sabi nga ni Yorme, isang bangka tayo. Why? Because from my very first interaction with Chairman of the Board of Regents, Honorable Mayor Francisco Isco Moreno Domogoso, the first sentence he told me was that one of his priorities is education. So he is looking for an individual who can make this area flourish during his administration. Then he proceeded to tell me how the city is doing in terms of the percentage of vaccination and how they were doing it in the middle of the night, in piers, just to make sure that those who worked at night were inoculated. He knew that vaccination will save lives, and with healthy people, a healthy economy follows. He boasted about Binondominium, Tondominium, Base Community, and how he envisions giving the Manileños back their dignity when the time comes that they are no longer squatting and have a place they can call their homes. He works hard, he works fast, and I knew from the first conversation that I had with him that I had to play a part in his vision, a vision of a better community for our beloved Manileños. We were founded as the People's University, a place to educate those who otherwise would not have access to higher education. Throughout our history, we have fostered the city of Manila's ability to meet the needs of its people and communities through quality education, engagement, economic development, and research. This is a demanding mandate, so we cannot stop what we have already started. However, the educational landscape has shifted with technology at the forefront. The accelerating pace of our world leaves us with three options. The first option would be to do the same thing over and over again and hope that a different miraculous effect will come of it. The second option would be to commit to change but at a cautious pace. I will tell you outright that if we do this, we will lag behind our competition. Finally, we can choose to transform UDM. And to do so, 
with the urgency that we know is warranted. We can be bold, we can be courageous, and we can choose to do this together. You're probably keen on hearing about my plans for UDM. This speech should help you learn a little more about the person who has taken on this big job, what drives them, what their values are, and perhaps, as a result, gain a sense of what to expect. So I am here to tell you that my plans for the university are lofty, befitting the placement of the university in a premier city, and could not be achieved without hard work and perseverance. The end goal should benefit our society as a whole, create lower unemployment, promote volunteerism, improve the economy. But more than that, we hope to be an instrument in creating individuals with a sense of purpose and love for Manila and our country. Individuals who are not only keen on research, discovery, and knowledge creation, but more importantly, has strength of character and integrity. In order to do this, we will stand tall. Tall, which stands for transparency, accountability, we will listen, and we will create linkages. T is for transparency. Transparency is a clear value that is omnipresent in local universities. Even before I formally took my seat as university president, I already had individuals reaching out to me, offering their help and suggestions. Students, employees, alumni, government personnel, heads, and other passionate community members who were eager to discuss what was happening on campus and where they envision UDM to be in the future. That level of informed engagement and public scrutiny can be challenging and rewarding. It also gives rise to participation from a much wider group of stakeholders. A second aspect of being public is our identification with the city of Manila. Every decision we make takes into account our impact on Manila, whether we are discussing student enrollment, hiring, graduation, or research, we are always focused on generating public good. Transparency means being open to suggestions, criticisms, and letting the stakeholders know what is happening. A is for accountability. In my administration, we will start asking questions because we acknowledge that we are answerable to the city of Manila. The first question we would have to deal with is the fact, and I told um, my uh, colleagues from UDM this, this morning during our institutional development plan session. No? Data shows that since academic year 1995 to 1996, back when UDM was still the City College of Manila, to academic year 2015-2016, which was our last normal academic year prior K-12, we have had 74,168 enrollees. And out of the 74,168, only 30,796 graduated. The city of Manila invested their education, okay? And invested in their education. And in fact, we know how much the city spends for UDM on a yearly basis. So what happened to 43,372 who dropped out of the role? That is a question we must answer. But while I am a believer in data-driven decisions and in providing more transparency and in showing more accountability and efficiency to the students of the city of Manila that funds us, I also firmly believe that students' educational experience should not, should not just stop uh, in terms of what metrics can capture. The fact is that we try every day to ensure each student has the opportunity to dream and succeed in their own lives. It is a big job, and it takes all of us in UDM to do it. And there are things about it that simply defy statistics. 
So we mull over why only 41% of those who enroll actually graduate. There might be need to review the curriculum, teaching strategies, the effectiveness of extra and co-curricular activities, or perhaps the admission process. Nonetheless, while we ask these questions for the first time now, we are currently holding our two-day IDP session that allows us to lay down action plans and set goals as we move forward. Yes, it is a working Sunday for all of us tomorrow. As we are ushered into purposeful months ahead in order to attain the targets that we have set. We will call this set of initiatives as UDM's commitment to Manila. This is my commitment to our students and other stakeholders. We will L. L is for listen. There is a reason why we were given two ears and only one mouth. The first thing I did when I assumed office and EVP talked about it was really have a dialogue with all the heads, stakeholders. I sat down with them and listened to their stories of what is happening in their respective areas. That was time well spent because I learned about their best practices and even areas that we need to improve on. I got to know the university better. We listened to what is happening inside. But moreover, outside the campus, with the help of Sek Bernie Ang and ASEC Letlet Zarkal, we were able to meet with the different department heads and learn from them. We acknowledge that there is a lot we need to know. We can still improve with their help, with everyone's help. Perhaps the most interesting conversation I had was with the alumni uh, Regent Sol uh, and uh, chairman of Alumni Association Jassy. A conversation that turned out to be a UDM history lesson. We listen, and that is why I know this is the first administration that will finally ink a MOA with the Alumni Association, legitimizing them and giving them a voice within the university. We will create L, or linkages. We are cognizant that the university cannot achieve anything by itself. We will create partnerships and network with key institutions. It means so much to me that uh, member schools from ALCO, private and, um, and uh, public schools are here because we really need uh, your help. Together, we can make uh, Philippine education better. Well, to date, we have 57 MOAs, MOUs, and contracts of affiliation in the Philippines and abroad. Not too many yet. We aim to grow this, but more importantly, we want to enact our agreements with them through actual collaborative projects and information exchange. These MOUs must not just be pieces of paper for display, especially our partnerships with other universities in Asia, which will propel research in UDM. This is a sure way for us to contribute to nation building and ensure that we remain globally competitive. So we stand tall for transparency, accountability, we will listen, and we will create linkages. That is me as an administrator. As a person, there's only one word that will describe what I am feeling right now. I am grateful. I firmly believe that none of us achieve our goals and aspirations without others. So I want to particularly acknowledge today some special people who have provided me with the inspiration or experiences that assisted me in the opportunities which have come my way and have made a huge difference in my professional and personal life. First of all, I would not be here without the confidence and clear vision of the Board of Regents and its Chair, Honorable Mayor Dumagoso. I thank all of you. I am honored you selected me to lead the Universidad de Manila at this pivotal time in the institution's history. Moreover, I look forward to the dynamic partnership of Vice Mayor Hani Lacuna and Congressman Yul Servo. I know that with the two of you, the city of Manila will continue to trailblaze and be number one. Secondly, I would like to thank my parents for molding me to be the person I am today. Although my dad is no longer with us, 
He has been my biggest influence in life. Teaching me that work without purpose is meaningless. And the purpose should always be helping others. My mom, who is the most loving, resilient, and hardworking person I know. Thank you, mom. She taught me that nothing is impossible if you put your mind to it. Next, I am really grateful for Dominic, my husband, who is my number one fan and critic. Conversations with him are actually invigorating, although it almost ends in debates on which management principles would be best used in certain situations. You see, we have different leadership styles, but I salute him for being a good leader who is loved and respected by his subordinates. My son, Philip, and daughter, Margot, for inspiring me to be a better person every day. I am so proud of how they have grown to be independent and diligent individuals. I would also like to thank my in-laws, who are really parents to me as well. Papa Nick for always believing in me, and Mama G, or Dr. Geraldine Tria, who ushered me into the academe. If it were not for her, I would not have entered the field of education. Thank you to my favorite and only sister, Mafe, and her husband, Jason, who unfortunately could not be here tonight. Aterev and Shao, who are very excited to be here. And I have a sister from another mother, uh, Terry. Okay, thank you very much for being here. Indeed, I am very blessed to have a very strong support system in this journey. I would like to thank my friends and relatives who attended this celebration, even those who are just watching through Facebook Live. I would like to acknowledge the students, faculty, and staff who are with us virtually. Thank you to the investiture team who organized this event, who really prayed that this will push through tonight. Dr. Ronald A. Herrera, Attorney Kim Mondehar, Professor Ronnie Santa Maria, Engineer Francis Atienza, and the ICT boys, Noel, Carl, Marshall, Renzel, Dan, Christian, Engineer Pic de la Cruz, Professor Ronald Fernandez, Professor Rejan Tadeo, the College Criminal Justice Corps cadets, you saw them, and marshals led by our Office of Student Affairs, Dean Voltaire Perales, the UDM Choral that enchanted us tonight, led by the Choir Master, Sharon Manalo, and the Secretariat team, Miko de Balucos and Paolo Ramon. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. We begin with the end goal in mind. So everything that happens in the university is carefully designed to achieve what we dream our graduates will be, always in a dynamic and safe learning space. For now, in campus, online. The city of Manila deserves a great university. I am committed to working with each of you to make Universidad de Manila a great university, a better university, and the very best university it can be. With God first. Thank you to each of you who took time to be here in this momentous occasion, and I am proud to be your president. Good evening. Congratulations to our new president, our beloved Dr. Maria Felma Carlos Tria. We in UDM, the faculty, students, and administration will be fully supporting you all the way in realizing the goals and objectives of our beloved Universidad de Manila. I'm grateful to the university events team who worked tirelessly to help 
has put this investiture together in a safe and celebratory way. We also want to thank the Information and Communication Technology Office, headed by Engineer Francis Atienza, for live streaming this installation so that all Merlions can take part. There may be a chance with this new time, this will be the well-attended investiture ever. To all our honorable guests and other well-meaning personalities who are here to witness and give credence to this momentous occasion, please accept our profound gratitude. Thank you to the people in UDM who exerted their best efforts to mount this investiture ceremonies in a successful fashion. You made this event unforgettable indeed. Thank you very much for joining us.
the exit of color followed by recessional. 